I'm going to do a review on Mortal Kombat Deception Premium Pack Edition. I have the Sub-Zero version here. Um, pretty nice looking case. It's uh, holographic there, if you can see. Um, comes with two discs. And on the inside it has a full bio of Sub-Zero showing his alignment, his place of origin, stuff like that. Now the first disc here, the special one that you get here, also a holographic case, comes with a tin card of Sub-Zero. On the back, it has more of his stats. then here, it shows the manual to the PlayStation 2 remake of the original Mortal Kombat arcade version that is on this disc, right here. This disc features a arcade perfect port of the original Mortal Kombat, um, has all the old secrets and stuff that people used to screw around with back in the day. Um, it also features a full documentary on the history of Mortal Kombat. And they did a pretty good job on it. It even has a, a cool menu thing where you can look at all the bios for every character in the series so far up to 2004. That's when this was released. And then the second disc here is just Mortal Kombat Deception, the game. Which was a good game in itself. Uh, the conquest was really fun. Uh, in a way, you could consider it like a sandbox kind of conquest. You could just run around, collect tokens and stuff uh, that you would use in the crypt to buy bonus content. And it just had a good story to it. I mean, you play as a young Shujinko learning martial arts and stuff. It's really fun to do. And also, this is the first Mortal Kombat to have online. So I played that around with that for a little bit online. It's got a great online server. Uh, I don't know if it's still up now, but I used to play it all the time. It was great. Um, oh yeah, and it also features two things right here. It shows on the back. Uh, chess combat. It's uh, just chess that you play with your Mortal Kombat characters. It's fun, like the different animations on how they attack each other. <laughs> they do fatalities. And then for Puzzle Combat here, it's like Tetris, but it uses Mortal Kombat type themes. And you can also do a two player where you face off another person playing Tetris. And that's fun as well. So I'm going to put it in my PlayStation here, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to start with the first disc, okay?